I am Anil Kumar and in this particular video we will see how to solve fractions when layers of fractions are piled on like the case we have. So it is 1 divided by 3 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 minus. This series could go forever right but we have cut it short to just three steps and let us see how to solve such a particular such a question right. So we should always begin from the bottommost layer. So we have this as equals to 1 over and we'll write this as such 3 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 is 2 right that looks simple correct. So that is the first step. So start from the lowest level. Now we have half here correct. So that is half. Now we'll apply we should find a common denominator to do this subtraction. So now we can write this as 1 over. So this is 3 minus 1 over. So to make common denominator as 2, we'll multiply and divide 3 by 2, right? So it becomes 6. So we have 6 minus 1 over 2. Do you get this step, right? 6 minus 1 over 2. So let's rewrite this particular fraction. So we have 1 over 3 minus 1 over 6 minus 1 is 5, so we get 5 over 2, right? So, so that is what we have. 1 over 5 over 2. Now, what does that mean? It really means that it is 1 over 3 minus 1 divided by 5 over 2 means multiply by 2 over 5. 1 times 2 over 5 is same as 2 over 5. You get the idea, right? 1 times anything is just same. So, so we get here. 3 minus 2 over 5. Again, we'll do the same thing. Common denominator of 5. That means we have to multiply and divide 3 by 5. So this time we get 1 over 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 2 over 5, right? So this could be written as 1 over 15 minus 2 is 13. So we get 13 over 5. So we are saying 1 divided by 13 over 5. So that could be written as 1 times 5 over 13, right? So this time I wrote last time I didn't, but anyway, I don't have to. 1 times anything is the same thing. So we get 5 over 13 as our answer for this particular fraction. So if fraction layers are given to you, so the idea here is to start from the bottom, right? So we get 1 over 2. And then, so you know, this is 1 over 2. Then you do this cross multiplication, 6 minus 1 divided by 2. So you get 5 over 2. Then again, do the cross multiplication, right? And, but before that, it flips. Do you see that? So it becomes 2 over 5. So that is why the steps are required. So make it 2 over 5 and then move on, correct? As we have done. So 5 over 2 flips because this is 1 divided by 5 over 2. It becomes 2 over 5. And then again, 15 minus 2 is 13 over 5. That 5 goes on the top. So you get 5 over 13 as your answer. I hope these steps help you to solve similar questions. Thank you and all the best.